Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to update your waypoints. Let's say you have a waypoint flight saved on your remote control and you got a new one, or maybe you need to erase your remote controller and start fresh again, and you have many waypoints saved on there and you don't wanna lose them or you don't wanna go back and have to redo those flights again. Well, this video was gonna show you how to save those waypoints, transfer them onto the new remote, or just back them up for the sake of safekeeping so that you can um, refresh your drive with the latest firmware, or maybe you wanna mm, sell it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. So what you're gonna need is your remote controller. It doesn't matter which one, this will work with DJI Mini 4 Pro. So I have the Pro Receiver had it for a while now works great it's just phenomenal there's no lag there's no way everything just seems to happen in real time um, and I believe that the uh, fellows that got the new DJI remote controller uh, too uh, have similar experience too all right so you're gonna need that you're gonna have to take your um, your, your your remote controller turn it on take a USB-C cable and put it into the cable uh, that best uh, allows you to um, do what you need to do on your computer. Find a port, um, a USB-C port, or your favorite port, whichever you decide to. And uh, I'm going to turn this on so that we can see. I'll do a screen. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll do a, a short screen recording here so you could see which waypoints I actually have on here. Okay, so. The, the waypoints are actually stored on the remote. So if I go to connection guide, camera view, and the little squiggly thing, which will bring in your waypoints. And if you click it, you should be able to see, whoops, your waypoints if you go back. See, and there they are, right there. I have one, two, three, four. I have four waypoints. I have Inception, Maple Avenue, um, Soccer Field, Maple Avenue too. So they're not going to be named on there though, but it's a particular folder that they're stored in. And I think I will delete, eh, I won't delete any of them, I'll just save them. All right, so there they go. And now um, what you're going to do is now that you're connected to your machine, um, there's this little application called uh, Android File Transfer. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And when you connect the two from your computer to your remote controller, this will open up and what you want to do is you want to go into the Android folder, okay, and then you're going to go into the data and then inside data, the DJI Go V5 and then you're going to go click on files and then from there you see waypoints right there at the bottom and there they go. That's the folder you want. Just take the whole folder because there's more, um, there's a lot of things in there. I'll actually show you um, what's inside the waypoint folder. Once it, you should hear like a ding, it'll go ding. Uh, everything will have copied. And then once everything copies, what you want to do is um, right click it and compress it. Okay, or zip it or whatever your, your experience is going to be on your machine. And now it's there. So now look, the reason why I say you take the whole folder because look, see I have one, two, three, four, right? And I believe there were, if we go back and check, did it shut off? No, one, two, three, yep, we have four on there, but they're not named, but you can always go by date. But uh, what, what's most important is that um, if you look here inside the waypoint folders, there's like there's a screenshot, see, of the map in there. So I'm not sure if that, you know, correlates the software to shows it where it's supposed to be, but um, that's it. You know, that's pretty much how you update your waypoints. And then you would just take this and drag it back into the right directory, which as you can see is right here. Um, we'll let open it up again. Okay, let's say you wanted to put it back on the directory. You would um, go into um, Android, okay, data, and then DJI Go, and then files, and then from there, waypoint and just drop it in or you know put it in you know, put everything in and that pretty much it that sums it up that's how you back up your waypoints and transfer them to your new remote or your old remote and um, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time